everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to show you a very easy ruffly type of flower to paint I am going to be using two a magic flat brushes number 12 and a 4 a deerfoot stippler which is a number 8 and my fine liner by Westonia all the paints I use are folk art paints I'm using tea berry wicker white Thicket, Yellow Light, and Fresh Foliage. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put one side of my number 12 flat brush into the Wicker White, one side into the Tea Berry, and do my blending strokes. The proper way to do this is to have your bristles full of paint three quarters of the way up the bristles. I just do it a few times and start. So, you know, get comfortable and do it how, whatever feels best to you. All right, so we're gonna start here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do just like a wiggle stroke, like I do a lot, and just put it up over each other, just kind of wiggle it in there. Go ahead and do this, and then come back down. And then I'm going to come over here, do the same thing. So I'll wiggle up, wiggle down. You can have a rounded petal, you can have pointed petals, it's up to you. And I am overlapping on purpose. Coming up here, going down, coming back up, going down. Just wiggle on it, just, just slightly, a slight wiggle. I'm happy with anything difficult. Do the same thing and I am intentionally just doing three blooms. Alright, and just go up and down. Up and down, come down. Alright, next step, again I'm not dry, but that's okay. If you want, you can get this some dry time or hit, hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer, whatever you have. Taking the Deerfoot Stuffler and putting it into the yellow, yellow light. And if you want, you can touch a little bit of the of the uh, tea berry in it. You might pull it up anyways because you're tapping over it. But I'm going to ahead and just tapping a center. I'm just going to come up in here so no matter how far up I go, I will have, you'll be able to see it, see the center that is. Alright, and just, you know, just basic tap. Nothing, nothing difficult. All right, I'm going to go back to my flat brush, same brush. Just keep going with it. I'm going to come out here a little bit further and start my wiggles. I'm going to come around it a little bit. And I can come up over it some if I want. And maybe come off to the side here a little bit. Pulling in a little bit of the yellow. I think that looks pretty, so I like it, and I'm fine with it. If you don't like it, again, always remember, you have the option of giving it some dry time before you continue on. That's purely up to you. And keep in mind, too, when you're painting, just, you know, relax. I try to do these videos pretty quickly just so that I'm not dragging on forever with them. But just take your time and relax. You don't have to do them quickly. Just have fun with it. Alright, so I'm going to come back in here, kind of go over it and have some petals that come down. I'm going to drop down a little bit here. And if you get where it pulls up when you're wiggling, you know, just go back over it. Not a big deal. And it's okay to overlap your blooms. See, when you come back, do the wiggling on glass, a lot of times it pulls it up. So 
so that's why I say, you know, it's okay if you need to go back over it or just kind of touch it up. Because that's pretty typical on glass. And your paint may react differently depending on the part of glass you're painting on too. You can come back down like that if you want to fix it. Or you know, just go up the side. Go back in here like that. No biggie, right? Easy peasy. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take my fine liner. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow, stick it in my greens, kind of pull it, roll it out. You can roll it out as you're going, up to you. All right, so I'm gonna do this, pull it here, pull it down here, come down this way. Because I'm trying to make different different stems for each one and just go back over it and just go over it and fill it in with other colors I like to have a mixture and of course anytime you're painting on glass the thicker you apply the paint the more durable your design is going to be so then I'm going to come like that so I'll come out over here And it's just kind of random. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time on this, but you know, just a little bit is fine. I'm just going to bring this one down here. You can look at this and decide exactly how you want your stems to end up. That's up to you. But this is what I'm doing. All right, I'm just going to keep going here. I'm going to add. A little bit up to the top here just to attach it to my flower do the same up in here to attach it and you can add other colors you can make it brown or white add white to it more green different shade of green doesn't have to be anything difficult all right so I got that the way I want it we put that brush aside then I'm going to take my number four I'm going to stick one side into the fresh foliage, one side into the thicket, do some blending strokes if I want. I can stick a little yellow in there, I can stick a little white in there, or I could even stick a little bit of that in there. Just kind of mix it, or leave it kind of separated where you can see it more. Up to you. It's gonna be a very easy leaf that I'm doing, and this one is just gonna be like you're just doing half, half of what you would typically do. If you understand what I mean, instead of doing two sides, I'm just doing one. And you can just kind of flip it up if you want. And I just have it come down here. And you can have more coming off of these other ones if you want. I'm just kind of overlapping a little bit. Because we all know when you have a stem together, they're they are going to overlap each other. That's the natural flow. Alright, come up in here, do the same thing. And when you're doing this, like I said, you could pull some of the underneath color in, which is fine. Not a biggie. I am a big leaf person. If you don't want to have as many leaves, then you know, feel free to eliminate that. Cut them down. Don't do as many as I'm doing. It's perfectly fine. And then if you want to have a few coming off the flowers themselves, You 
Again, they're not anything difficult. My videos are meant to be easy. Because I do really want people just to relax and have a hobby that you can do that's fun. And not affordable. Right? Going back to my Deerfoot Stippler. Or, no, I'm not. To my fine liner, excuse me. And then I'm just going to come in here and add some stems. Attach them to the to the stems that they're on. And you can do this with your flat brush or you can do it with the liner brush. I like how the liner brush looks. It's thinner, but I can do it either way. All right, pretty simple. I hope you like this. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving my video, if you would take a moment to share this on your social network with your friends and family, I would greatly appreciate that. Just hit the share button underneath and it'll give you the options of where you can share it and you'll be good to go. All right, thanks again so much for stopping by. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.